Hello beautiful Sag, my name is Donna. Welcome to the channel. We have a love reading in store for you. It is a four part love reading with timestamps below. The first part will be the basic reading with the clarifiers. The second part of it will be your best course of action for the best outcome in your relationship. Helps and hindrances and finally, what they like best about you. So, enjoy the timestamps. Tell me if you like the format. And thank you for joining me. So, let's get started. I have pre shuffled the cards. One more shuffle for our beautiful Sagittarius, and we will get started. All right. The reading, the energy at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, throw caution to the wind. Sag, what are you up to? That's your energy right there. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so let's see what we have. In the recent past between you and a lover, Sagittarius, you appeared twice in your own reading. Are you the leader in this relationship? I'm just curious. Archangel Raphael is protecting your relationship. All right, Jupiter. We have both of you are in the energy currently of the King of Swords, Aquarius energy, being very detached, very intellectual, looking at facts you know, enjoying the scenery, enjoying the moment, but living very much with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. We have the energy that your person has as they view the relationship. What do they think? They feel as though, and they think that you have, that the two of you have a very passionate, very happy, very sexy relationship. There's a lot of fun, travel. They want to go the distance with you. Your person is very passionately attracted to you. They want to make love to you all night long. Keep that fire extinguisher next to the bed because your person loves the passion you bring to the table, Sag. Again, you know, when we get the Eight of Wands energy, that is Sagittarius energy. Eight, nine, ten of Wands are all Sag. Wow, three out of four cards, Sagittarius, are your energy. How your person views you, Sagittarius, five of wands, they view you as very feisty, very passionate, somebody who will argue both sides of an argument. Uh, they see you as a person who's in it to win it, but they also see you as being sometimes a little bit pushy, somebody who wants their way a little bit. Um, so they definitely feel that you have a lot of pride and perhaps some ego, but you know, again, it's an opinion. But I do feel as though they, in their opinion, they view you as a controversial type person. That things are never like super calm with you. There's always something going on. You're always striving for something, fighting for something. All right. The Ace of Cups, how do they feel about you? Love, love, love. A big cup of love. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. The Ace of Cups, a newborn love or a reinitiation in love if you've come back together. Temperance card can sometimes mean a reconciliation. Or even if you've just been away from each other, maybe you're in different locations of the world, but your person adores you, loves you, loves you. The Four of Swords, how do they view the situation currently? Four of Swords, you know, there's, there's some heartbreak here. It can be, again, if you're at a distance from each other, because there's travel cards here, there's struggle cards, but we see the Four of Swords. So your person feels as though the way forward is the two of you to be together, to heal your hearts together. The energy that's hidden between the two of you is the Ace of Swords, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. One of my very favorite cards in any love reading. Both of you are very honest with one another. You're very plain spoken with one another. There's no guessing. There are no games being played here. Spirit is recommending keep your options open. It's early in a love relationship. Don't make a final decision yet. This is Pisces energy. Four of Swords is... Um, Libra energy. Keep your balance. The outcome is that both of you are moving away from a difficult time in your life. As individuals, it could be more like what we've gone through as a collective in the past two years. 
we see the energy of the Six of Swords moving forward. Now, you may move in together. You may be discussing moving in together. But I, the Six of Swords is a very powerfully good energy. It's Aquarius energy. It's a problem-solving energy. It's how do I move forward successfully out of choppy water. So I do feel as though the two of you had been in some sort of a distance or separation of some sort because of that Five of Wands. Five of Wands is more like children playing you know, like swords. Um, so it's not heavily serious energy. It's just more um, banter, you know, kind of lightweight. Well, what if we did this or what if we did that? Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify these cards before we go on to your best course of action. All right, why do we have the Page of Wands here? Why is it here? A beautiful Sagittarius, friends. I'll move this out of the way. All right, we have winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, you have a chance to really be victorious. The struggle is here, but the victory is here. We see the two of you. This may have required your person to travel or scramble or do something to be able to have the relationship or head in your direction. Okay, so why else do we have throwing caution to the winds? Taking, that, taking the chance, turning the wheel. And we have Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so both of you are in this energy of problem solving. The Knight of Pentacles is Virgo energy. The problem solver of the Zodiac is working out the details to make things happen in a very healthy, productive way. The Ace of Wands, look at that. So you do have, it does look, I really would say this is more of a travel issue. You may live at a distance because the Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning in love. Look at that, a reconciliation. Three of Coins, you may have worked with this person, but at any rate, you're going to collaborate in life in a love relationship. The Nine of Wands says both of you have fire in your belly to make this work. Both of you, you know, when you are alone, Think about each other a lot. Sagittarius energy again. Eight of nine and to the nine. Powerful. Leo energy again. Very much. Both of you are in this to win it. You both want a victory. You both want to introduce each other to your friends, your family. You're very excited about it. The Ace of Swords is clarifying the travel card. You know, the card of passion. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Look at how these cards are mirroring. You, The two of you are mirroring each other in your energy. The death card says that Leo, excuse me, Sagittarius, you may be required to leave something behind. And the card that just fell out onto my lap was, was a Sagittarius card of reconciliation. So it does show that you, it looks like you've been in physical, um, physical at a physical distance or you could have had a relationship in which you weren't able to manifest it. Someone may have had to have left another relationship to have this one or another place, person, place, thing, job. But we see you moving and very, your person's moving very quickly towards you. They feel as though you're moving very quickly. A lot to say to each other. Why is the Ace of Cups here for how your person feels? Look at that Three of Coins again. Oh my goodness. The two of you look like you've worked together. You've done creative work together. But at any rate, if you don't, that is, let's go to the paint store and decide what we're going to paint the bedroom. Ace of Cups energy. Again, your person's so in love with you. They have been working at manifesting you for some time now. Sagittarius. Very powerful. What do we, why do we have the Four of Swords in this energy? Two of Wands, time to make a heartfelt decision. Time to make a decision and not sit on the fence. The separation between the two of you, the distance has been quite difficult. And so it really speaks to making that dis, making the decision to go on the adventure. Because when you look at the Two of Wands in the Lightseer's Tarot, we have somebody who leaves the past behind. I believe that's going to be you, Sag. And you go for world travel, which is a travel card. And we also see a surfboard and a, a van for road trips, adventures. So this is really right, throwing caution to the winds, taking a chance. You may be meeting or you may have met this person online and you're just now coming together 
in relationship because it looks like fairly new love. Nine of Cups. Your wish is granted. Both of you are in this beautiful energy of feeling like you're one another's wish fulfillment. We have the Ace of Cups clarifying once again. So much mirroring energy here. You are very powerfully attracted. What else do we need to know about the Ace of Cups? Seven of Wands. Both of you are defending your love for one another. You're going for it. Why does Spirit say that you should keep your options open or decide carefully? Two of Wands energy again. So what we're saying, what Spirit is saying is if this is a new relationship and you don't know the person very well, take time, take a year, one year with a magician or two years with the Two of Wands to really get to know this person before you make a firm, solid commitment of a legal nature with them. The Fool card says that you can take the leap of faith. Both of you are very emotionally invested. Both of you are taking the leap of faith. And the Tower card was kind of reversed, but it fell. So I feel as though this represents more of an overall energy in the reading of instability by being separated. Why do we have the Six of Swords here for you? Why is the Six of Swords moving forward out of difficulties Five of Swords, being in a situation that was very painful. is Okay, so we really need to know what your best course of action is here, too. I'm going to pull some um, Heart of the Fairy Oracle to find out about this, okay? We're going to pull those cards. So the Nine of Pentacles says that both of you are single, ready to mingle. You're very capable. Both of you have been in some situation whether it be distance, moving in together, but it is it really shows me that there's been some challenges here and will be in the future, short-term future, some cha challenges and need to move forward through a very difficult period of time. Good, Taurus energy is the final clarifier for this. It speaks to the fact that you will have a very passionate, stable life together. It speaks to the fact that this is pre-Empress energy. I love, love Pentacles in a love reading. They're absolutely a requirement to make anything grounded, balanced, safe, and secure. We have the two of you working together with a lot of passion, a lot of loyalty, a lot of stability coming in here. So I do want to see what that Five of Swords, Six of Swords is about. Please clarify the Five and Six of Swords for us, Spirit. Please clarify that for us. The Smith, okay. So the Smith is like a blacksmith, a, a horseshoe. You know, a Smith is somebody who creates something. So again, it really speaks to the Three of Coins. So one of you may have to travel, you may be creative. So Smith is all about profession. So the issues at hand may be that your profession separates you. For instance, if you work for an, as an airline crew member or on a cruise ship, or you did something where you had to travel a lot for business, it does look as though that is the thorny issue that we're seeing here. So now that we've clarified everything, we're going to look at your best course of action. Let's see what your best course of action um, to deal with whatever challenges are in this relationship or the timing. Let's see what we have here. Best course of action for you. So we have chameleon spirit. Act as if. Act as if you are living the life you already want to live and you will manifest it. You are manifesting it. We have Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide, okay? So listen, you know, listen to Spirit. Spirit's um, your wisdom. You know, be very careful. Spirit sees things from a higher perspective, like a hawk in the sky. Take the advice. And Spider Spirit, make your dreams real. Well, aren't you? You have the Magician card here. So let's see what your best course of action is here in terms of, excuse me, wrong deck here. Okay, so let's see what else we have. The Sacred Destiny deck, what is it that you need to know about the future of this relationship? Let's see. You have 
ascending the mountain, keep going forward. That is a very good description of what I see here. There's some sort of outside challenges to the relationship, and it really is you know, just urging you to move forward and, and to live by the, the credo of, you know, clearing the air, telling the truth, doing the work, but distant thunder. So it does look like there has been at least something, some situation clouding your path together. Great adventure, take a risk and venture forward, throwing caution to the wind. So we like that energy for you. Let's look and see now what the helps or hindrances in this relationship are. What is the support or the challenge in this relationship for our beautiful Sagittarius friends? Okay, what is the energy here? So, I call this the lady in the cupboard card. <laughs> really just, you know, it looks like the two of you are being very discreet. You know, you, you're operating in a very comfortable manner, but you're not giving everybody details about it. The captive man energy does suggest that someone here likes sort of the challenges or the difficulties. The captive man sort of always has an excuse to not be free. We see two different women here. The captive man energy can be, it can even be like a job. The captive man, well, I love my career and although I love you, I just can't be there for you in the way that you know, some people are. So we see that the challenge here, again, looks as though there are burdens in this relationship that are proving to be difficult, and yet one person here is not really making much change. Again, you can have a really demanding career, and one person says, well, you should change careers, and the other person says, the captain man says, no, I'm not going to change. But the song, really showing your gratitude, you know, being happy, enjoying music together, singing the song of life together. So that is what I have for the basic reading. Now let's look and see what they like about you best, Sagittarius. <laughs> you have a big personality. What is your person like best about our beautiful Sagittarius friends? Let's look and see what we have here. Look at that night of voices. They love the fact that you tell the truth. We can see the Knight of Voices here. Look at once again, your person loves that you rush towards them, that you're so happy to see them, that you have so much to talk about. All right, we have Nine of Emotions. Your person loves that you loves the fact that you embrace life joyfully, vibrantly. Eat, drink, be merry, make love. Life is short. Enjoy it now. The Page of Voices. You evidently are very, very good at texting and keeping keeping up with your person. They, they love the fact that you're communicative, that you're well-read, that you're always learning something, you're always studying something. They find that intriguing and it keeps you very youthful. The Knight of Emotions, Knight of Cups, they love how romantic you are, that you're sweet, that you're kind, that you're loving, you plan nice meals and events for each other. The Eight of Emotions, they love the fact that you're able to leave the stresses of the day, the challenges of the day behind to spend time with them. That you can make the transition, you can walk away from conflict, you can walk away from um, endings. You can very much, you're very much a person who knows how to uh, take care of themselves and, and walk away from that which does not serve you. They see you as a very strong person. They also see you as the Ace of Inspiration, Ace of Wands. We saw that also earlier. They see that you're passionate, that you're beautiful, that you, you love to come up with a new idea or a new adventure. The Hanged Muse, <laughs> they love that you look at things from a different perspective, that you almost sometimes maybe even like to argue both sides of an argument. But the Hanged Man is a beautiful energy because it speaks to the fact that your person is, you know, sort of twirling in midair before they go into the pool, Or, but they like the fact that you look at, you're always willing to look at things from their perspective or the perspective of other. The seven of voices, what's hidden that they like about you is that you're very discreet. You don't talk out of turn. You, you keep your secrets. You keep, you know, you're very honest. The seven of swords can be thought of as a sneaky card. But in this particular instance, 
because it's clarified with the rest of the cards as being loving, kind, truth-telling. It really speaks to the fact that they see you as a person who has discretion, that you don't speak about your personal life, you don't share um, information about them, you don't compromise the relationship. The queen of materials, they see you as a person who's very much focused on doing the job the right way, that you're picky. They love the fact that you're very picky. The queen of pentacles, the king of pentacles, look at that energy. So they like the fact that you're very much, um, you boss up. When you do something, you're really in it to win it. The five of inspiration. They love the fact that you're always open to new ideas. They like the fact that you toy and you play with new creative ideas all the time. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. It's been a joy. Send me love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from and tell me what you think of the format. Thank you. Bye-bye.